Today we're gonna try something a little bit different on the channel, something that we're gonna call the Micro Macro Challenge. Whoa, I like that. Corey and I have been having this discussion about how your perspective on a particular thing changes completely depending on like your proximity to it. Yeah. And the city of Chicago is a perfect example yeah. of that. Not long ago, Chicago's image around the world was stellar. Has Chicago lost its shine? Whether it's people who are in the news or on social media, but when you're looking at this city from a macro perspective, from like pretty far away, you can really have a negative light shown on the city. That's totally the opposite for people who live in the city, who have yeah, this like so micro different. relationship where we see the city in a totally different light, and I think we all love it. Yeah, so I love it. That's a perfect example of it. Yeah. What is it about Chicago? I've traveled all over the world, and Chicago still by far is one of the most beautiful cities. Okay, so for me today, my challenge was to take Chicago and show it in a macro essence. Something like removed, outside, just top level. That's what I need to do for Corey. And my challenge, obviously, is to do the same thing, but for the micro level. Right. To try to find a way to represent Chicago in a smaller sense, right? Yeah. And so that's why today I had Sean meet me down in the West Loop. Yep. And I'm gonna take him to a little art installation. Here's where I brought Sean. It's a place called the Wonder Museum. Mm -hmm. And basically it's a traveling art exhibit that uh, takes a bunch of different artists who have cool, unique art and gives them little rooms that they can curate. So it's a oh, bunch of little dude. rooms that are curated into very specific little dope art installations. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I hope you're excited. Dude, this is super safe. It's only been open for a couple weeks, right? Yeah, it's gonna be dope. Oh, uh, <laughs> let's do it. How's it going, man? Hi. A couple of brochures. Awesome, man. Thank you so little much. Maps for you. Enjoy your experience. Huh? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. the shortest person ever. Just ever to be a number six cheese. <laughs> you're gonna start up really microscopically, and then you're gonna make your way more macroscopically, cosmic, and then you'll end up in the infinity room. Yeah. So that's what we hope to create for you. What? That's crazy. <laughs> that worked out well. <laughs> I <know it> <laughs> Like, subscribe, comment. <laughs>chose the Wonder Museum as my place to represent Chicago as a micro world is because Chicago is kind of a micro world in and of itself. You can look at it from this broad perspective and take whatever information you want and call it Chirac or whatever. But in reality, when you get close to Chicago, when you live in it, it's amazing. Yeah. It's beautiful. It doesn't matter where you go. They're all different worlds and they're all amazing in their own way. You can go up to Wrigley and grab beer. You can go down to the Loop and shop. Sure. You can go to the Lake in Lincoln Park, yeah. that's how Chicago is. That's how I think of Chicago. And that's how I think of this place. It's one unit, it's one whole thing that has a thousand little rooms and each of them are unique and dope and beautiful and little artistic awesomeness. And that's kind of how I see this, <laughs> That right? correlation was sick. I, I had to think <laughs> outside the choice. box Great choice, one. all right, let's keep having fun. Nobody needs it. So, my turn then. Uh, I have to take Corey and show him at a macro level. So we're headed to my buddy Matt's apartment. Cool. It's not just like a game night or something. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm gonna take this theme and I'm gonna do like it. It's a game a, of life. Is a, anything more macro than that? <laughs> on a very like literal level of what we're doing. It's super literal. Okay. Um, but I think you're gonna like it. It's gonna be beautiful. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, dude, I'm excited to see what it is. All right, headed to the train. Let's go. All right. Let's 
What's up, dude? What's up, guys? Uh, Ready to have some fun? All right, guys, so this is Matt. Very excited for you guys to get to know Matt. Also, um, you know that view that I was telling you yeah, about? Dude, I'm dying uh, Matt, why don't you tell Corey what that view is that we're gonna well, see? Today we're gonna go flying in a four seat airplane and uh, like one of those tiny little ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go on the <laughs> so we're gonna go on the Chicago skyline. We're gonna have some fun with that. Have you ever done oh, this, dude, right? I've never been in a like. Dude, you're talking about like, like a tiny. Little little, remember, I made a vlog like a while back. Oh, I've that never, plane. Never in my life. That's this ever. guy. That's this dude. Oh, bro. Um, <laughs> Matt, have you taken anybody out for their first time before? Yeah, um, you know, one of the things that I'm really passionate about is aviation, so I spend a lot of time volunteering to bring people for their first flights that are into aviation, want to get them into it, teach them about it, and essentially have a lifetime experience. Oh, so, dude, Corey, do you want to have so a lifetime sick, experience? Dude, I am. Let's go. I'm leaving. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to the, air we're going to the airport right now. You ready? Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, let's do it. Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation. Two, one, four, four. Zulu weather. Wind two, niner, zero at niner. Visibility one, zero, five thousand five hundred. Scattered temperature one, niner Celsius. Two point six altimeter three, zero, one, zero. I'm about to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. It's a new drone. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Live with no distractions. We'll get away. Alright, guys, so we're at the hangar and uh, we're here with Matt. You want to let us know what we got to go through before we get up there in the sky? Yeah, we got a quick checklist to go through here. Should take a couple minutes and we'll make sure everything's in good working order and we'll. Get out of here really quick. Bring Manual labor, we're about to pull this bad boy <laughs> Let's out. Let's pull the plane here. out. Let's do it. And we got Joel. Howdy, howdy. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Be free. All right, gauges are live. Airspeed's in the green. 55, 60. Woo! So that's got like 278 in Quebec, about 10 miles to your southeast. Uh, we'd like to transition your airspace, heading up to Chicago and Lakeshore if possible. Niagara Quebec transition approved. Carry altimeter to 3010. Say you're out to currently. 278 Quebec is currently at 3,700 feet. Thank you. Now looking back, eyes on the freeway. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. That's a cliche. We're on the run. This is what we waited for. One last thing, flight was super sick, but there is a tradition after you fly with Matt in Lansing, Illinois, we gotta take you somewhere. Okay, I'm ready to figure it out. What are we doing with right. tradition? You'll see, let's do it. So yeah, this is the tradition. It's beers at the airport bar. What do you think of the tradition? Dude, I'm absolutely excited. Any, any tradition that involves me drinking beers afterwards, I'm in. Yeah. And I just gotta say, the whole move coming out here and like going on a flight and everything. Yeah, you're welcome. Matt, thank you so much. It was yeah, seriously amazing. my pleasure, guys. Yeah. So sick. Matt, thank you, Joel. Thanks for shooting. Um, guys, plenty more videos. Brand new one again tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Peace.